You know, one of my concerns about some of the new knowledge-oriented ELA curricula is that they're being used to replace involvement in content area learning. And while texts can be used to develop students' conceptual understandings, you know, that's not the totality of what students learn about in content area instruction. Um, they need to learn the skills and um, ways of thinking and ways of communicating that are part of the different content areas. I really agree with Gina that we don't want to just put a superficial coating on it and say, now we're teaching about, we're teaching knowledge. We're a knowledge-based curriculum when we're just kind of skimming kind of over the surface of a whole bunch of different topics. I think we've said it, but maybe not directly. But when we talk about knowledge, it's not just informational text. Gina was showing the theme about friendship. And the, the thing about narrative text is that's where we have our record of, of human relations, of how humans solve problems over time. You know, I can go to, um, you know, a novel that Jane Austen has written and see something about human relations. And I can read a, you know, a novel that's been written in the last year and I can see what's consistent about human beings. So I wanna really emphasize that when we're talking about tech sets, as I was showing in those, um, like the Sarah Lupa kinds of texts, it's, it's a lot of, it can different genres. And I think narrative is really important in there. And there's been many longstanding programs of research that have shown time and time again that if you constrain the time devoted to English language arts and you involve students in content area learning, experiential content area learning, that also involves them in reading and writing and learning about the genres and ways of a reading and writing that are important in that content area, they make more growth in reading and writing. So actually reducing the time devoted to ELA instruction can result in greater growth in um, literacy. So yes, um, we, that's what we, what we really want is for students to be learning skills and strategies of literacy in a relatively constrained ELA period, and then doing lots and lots of reading and writing and talk um, in the context of having experiential um, content area learning experiences. One of the things that I'm really a strong proponent of is that kids have some choice when they see some of these texts um, and that kids actually can get expert at something that they can share with others. I mean, a lot of the ways in which we interact is, you know, if everybody's responsible for the same thing and then somebody's checking to see whether I really read it, I mean, it's kind of like interrogation, you know? Um, I would prefer, and that was what I was describing in the article a day perspective where there's a set of articles, there's a set of texts, we might all read one of them together and then different groups of kids could read different texts in a text set. You know, one of the texts might be read aloud, um, but I think it's really important for kids to have some ownership. John Guthrie's work on, on knowledge building really does show that it helps to have some choice and that really influences engagement and learning.